may try to drag it because now he can heel hook. You see it? The moment that he tries to drag it, we play the little game. Now he drags it. Now look, there's no heel hook on that side. Even if he got it over there, there's no heel hook. So he pulls it back the other way. Oh no, there's a heel hook. You see it? So what do I do? He, it's over here, he drags it. I turn my toes. He drags it the other way. I turn my toes. He drives it the other way. And you do a little drill so you understand how to stay out of the heel hook. Then, when he tries to drag it to the other side, you don't let him and you're coming out. I'm pushing and I'm distancing now. With my leg straight, it pulls out of the hole. If my knee is bent, I can't pull out. So see this bite that he has on my leg? If, if, if I try to go this way, this part of my leg is running into his leg. It's, it's like blocked. If I straighten my leg, now he's trying to squeeze, and now my knee is free. So now that my knee is free, he's trying to keep onto your foot and trying to do something with it. In the middle, it's tough for him because he has no heel hook when it's in the center of his chest, his stomach area. He wants it bent and over to the side so he can start to create something. And you see with my knee out, now I can start to get my other foot in and, and start pulling my foot out completely. So get in any situation like this with your partner, have the guy drag it to the other side so he can get a heel hook, see that? And then in the middle of his drag, turn your toes and put your foot on his chest stomach. Like my, my little monkey feet, I'm holding them. So now if he tries to move it over there, it's kind of tough, right? And then that's the time when I I do one of these, close the hand, and scoot. My leg is more or less straight, so I can pull it straight out. Get into a leg lock. It could be the other way as well. So maybe he dragged me once, and now he's looking there, so I turn my foot, and he tries to drag me back again, and now this is the time where, you see I distance myself? Yeah. I'm coming out. Now I'm feeling pretty confident. Watch for him to get back on top. So in a points tournament, he's, or in a fight, he wants to, now he realizes leg lock's gone. If he's smart, I'm scared of leg lock, he gets up. And I'm like, dang, in a points tournament, he gets two points. So what do I do? So you have to be smart about this. Let's say he tries to drag your foot and I stop right there, boom. Keep trying to turn it. Good, I'm clearing it out. He tries to get up and I'm up too. And then if, you know, if I'm ready to attack already, Okay, if I'm gonna, if I can, I'll blast right into him and take him down. Uh, just one little, I, I wasn't thinking about this, but you know how you started to get up? Yeah. If you didn't get up and I tackled him, boom. It's probably gonna be nothing, right? Watch it again. He's here, he tries to drag it across and I'm escaping right here. As he tries to get up and I try to get up, he gets up. points. You see the strategy? I know the tournament you're thinking about going to is like submission only, but just talking about it on points because we had this happen last weekend at a tournament. We have to be aware of the point system and you also need to be aware. So if you clear out of my leg lock, mm -hmm. if you cleared out of my leg lock and you got to there, if I try to get up and you see the opportunity, you can easily get a free two points. Okay. You do have to do the work but he may not be ready yet. He may not be like in a stable position defending. He might be kind of weak. He might go do one of these. And he's out of position, you blast him. Okay, so recap. The guy goes leg lock. Okay, I'm turning, I'm hiding my heel. See how he tries to pull it away? Use your foot and like stop it on his chest. So I try to drag it. So I'm making it real tough for him to drag my leg across. If I just stick my foot like this, you feel how the heel was exposed? Yeah. So I plantar flex, he's trying to drag, and then as he's here, I'm turning my knee with him. If I keep my knee, go back. If I keep my knee pointing, same direction as his belly button, see my knee, then my foot is straight. If he's wanting heel hooks, he wants angles. Relax, I'm gonna give you my leg, relax. See the way my knee is pointing? Now he has an angle, okay? I go this way, see which way my knee is pointing? 
He has an angle. So if you don't give him that angle, he's trying to get the leg lock. It doesn't matter if it's in the belly down. Now my knee is out. And now we're looking to come out of that leg lock. Did you learn something from that, Ryan? Keeping your knee in line with the leg Yeah, that, that way you stay out of the heel hooks. Okay, and then when you get chances to pull and retract your knee out from between their legs, you're gonna be much safer. You're not out of the woods completely, but you're gonna be way safer. Let's go, one, two, three. <laughs> 